Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be playing another game of Total War Warhammer. I'm the Strategy Professor. What's Greenskins, huh? I tried out Bretonia into Greenskins yet. I feel like Empire is pretty good into Greenskins too. Okay. Hmm. I handle this. I want to try it out. I want to try it out. I'm not sure. I'm not as confident in this matchup as I am in going against Vampire Counts or Chaos. I think it's still a pretty good matchup. Yeah, let's do it. Make sure this guy doesn't troll me. Switch factions at the last second here. I've had that happen before. Okay. You have to be ready to click unready quickly if someone does that to you and then just leave the lobby because they're trying to troll you. I did win the game when someone did that to me, but obviously it's pretty underhanded, I think. Like, he, he switched over from Chaos to Undead or something when I picked Greenskins, I think, one time. So I have been playing a lot of Bretoni today, but people have been playing a lot of Chaos for some reason. What do you mean, old ass? I've been pretty successful. I think I've lost once as Bretonia. Like 6-1, something like that. I'm really going hard in the paint today. I just have been in the zone. They off didn't have any classes. I should be doing more on the campaigns, but I'm really, you know, I really want to get under 100 as soon as I can. Just, I think it'll help promote the channel quite a lot. I'm hoping. It'll give me some street cred with people. Chance I shouldn't really line up like this. Probably a pretty good chance. I'm going to back up a little bit just in case they have like rock lobbers or something. Gonna go for thin lines here. And we'll keep these. Like over here. We might be able to see those. Whatever, it's fine. Actually, I'll just keep them back here. That way I know where I need to maneuver them. We have a lot of black orcs. Be expected. Big ends, boys, lots of things. Okay, let's go ahead and get some good shots in here, I guess. Trying to scout and see what all they have, big ends, stuff like that. Let's see if I can hit this guy just real quick, just try to knock him out. Wow, they all charged him and no one did any damage to him? That's incredible. How's that even possible? Yeah, so I just want to just scare this guy and get some good shots in here. Right here, just go ahead and fire on him. I just want to fly over his head and just freak him out a little bit. Is there anything I can do to just stall a little bit? I don't know what he cast on me. But, you know, if... if I mean, that's keeping a bunch of his units back here because he's not really sure what to do. Let's go over this way. Shooting shoot into those boars. Let's try to counter those. He's keeping some black orcs to try to bodyguard his uh, lord there. I think. Let's see if we can get down here and just make this goblin run. 
Okay, there we go. There's the damage I'm talking about. That's what I want to see. I think we got him pretty good here. Let's go ahead and rotate over here and kill these. Four. Okay, do not let him get into my guys. What's he in here with? Oh, he's got some wolves over here. Okay. Alright, let's get down here and kill those. Guys, get back here, get down here, kill those. They need my ward so they don't need anything yet. Alright. Go charge into these things, into their back again. Let's get back over here. Trying to watch my wards here. Let's go ahead and fly back out for now. Guys, go! Okay, get over here, go kill those things. Okay, those are really not hurt at all. Where is she? Get right here. Kill those. Okay, I want to get in here and kill these things. Go deal with those. These black orcs are going to be a real problem. To try to deal with. Alright, pop a pot. I think I got the guy. I wanted to get the goblin. No, I didn't. Is that the goblin? That's the war boss. Okay, I don't want the war boss. I just wanted the little goblin. Here he is. Get this guy. God, those orcs. Those, uh, savage or, or the, um, the orc. Whatever's are really tough to deal with. Alright, get back in here. Alright, let's go ahead and back up, knights. Get another charge in here. These guys are kind of holding up. Guys, go. Get in there. Alright, I think we'll be able to do this. It's getting a little dicey, but I think we can do it. Go kill that guy. Get this war boss. Okay, so he's chasing a bunch of stuff over here. Get in here and kill this guy. He tried to charge into me by his own volition, so. That's with the bull, you get the horns. Let's do this. Guys, get him. Holy cow. Get in there and kill him. Are you just like taking turns flying, like not killing him? Like, what's the deal? I'm just kind of chasing these guys. Okay, we need to get out of here. She's going to get caught up. Alright, is he dead yet or what? Kill him. I like, I want to see his dead body. Get him. I want to see a skull. That's what I wanted. Okay. Alright, come back. Uh, who's left? Alright, let's charge out and grab this guy. Uh, yeah. Get back in here. 
think we'll we'll beat him. We have so much power left. This is a, this, I think this is a hard matchup for Greenskins personally. Okay, yeah, that's it. So it's not like a matchup that is, um, you know, like 100% Bretonia is going to win at all the time. I mean, it's not like Greenskins on Dwarves. Um, but it still is a very challenging matchup for Dwarves. I mean, he had a really good uh, build, I feel like. I didn't even notice those were um, Orc Boar Boy Biggins. I just noticed they were normal Boar Boy. I really need to pay attention to the labels a lot more. These black orcs, though, I mean, 162 kills. These things killed so many things. I mean, these big ones did very well, too. They're just beating up, destroying all my spearmen. Um, You see, these orcs really didn't even kill that much, honestly. They just disrupt and knock out formations. Um, so, uh, I mean... I needed to kill this Night Goblin Shaman much sooner. I can't believe I charged him on the back line like that. So I had four flying things charge him. Like, so I had 24 Pegasus charge him. And then three Lords charge him. And none of them hit on their charge. So it did zero damage to him. Didn't even knock him over. And I had to get up immediately. But sometimes if you charge, it'll kill him almost instantly. So I don't like to snipe Lords like that. Traditionally, I don't like to just run down and hit somebody's ward and run away. I think that's a bit sleazy, but I'm not above doing that to wizards. I mean, I spend a lot of gold on my air game. Right? So this is 1,500. These are each like 1,100. So 2,200, 2,700, and then he is 1,000. I need to be more than that. I feel like 1,500. So, you know, I'll probably spend about a third of my army on my air force, a quarter to a third of the army on the air force, so... You know, that means that he should run me over, right, with his infantry. Because I have so much invested in the air. Um, but he was able to get to the back and get a lot of my peasant boatmen with these wolves. I mean, it was only cost 300 gold. They killed 71 things. So, that's a pretty good job. I didn't even see those. At least snuck up on me with it. The boars were kind of able to get to the back and do some damage. But, I was able to pull some spears back and... Deal with that. I think I cycled the charges pretty well in Knights of the Realm. I really needed to hit the Black Orcs in the back. And I think at least on the left flank. These were the ones on the left flank, I think, because we basically killed them. They got a lot done. I think he forgot to put these in there for a while. That's why they're so healthy. But yeah, the right flank just got totally destroyed. Because I didn't have the cavalry over there. And I didn't have um, any of my flying lords over there. So I just kind of gave up on the right flank. Just hoped they could hold their own. Then tried to collapse the left and work my way around from there. Worked out pretty well, but it was really close. The only thing that was left were my flying lords, but those flying lords are so strong at the end where you can cycle charges on people. I did have a little bit of a ground force left. I had the damsel, and some of these things were rallying back, but... Yeah, a lot of it just came down to the lord. I mean, he ran into my units, like right next to my flying lord, with his orc boss, so... Of course I'm going to go for it. At the end, near the end of the fight. Uh, yeah, good battle. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, now, if you don't like flying wars and potions, there's a lot of. You now I have a lot of videos that are not Bretonia. Also, I don't think it's that bad. This current patch, like I think there's plenty of counterplay to it. If you're curious, and this is a mild spoiler, I will tell you how to beat it, and I did it on the channel uh, with Empire. So you just go net of Amatok and a bunch of riflemen. And you got him down. I slaughtered Bretonia, like absolutely butchered him in that game. So it's totally possible. With green skins, it's just really hard. Like I, you just have to pound him in the ground game, and then I don't know how you deal with the flying wards at the end. I guess you could have orc arrow boys. I've tried Arachnoc spiders before. Um, that can be okay. You just really just have to absolutely demolish the ground game, like zero room for error. And then just whenever they come back down, just beat them up. I think maybe if you hit them, I've heard all sorts of things. Like if you hit them with cavalry, you hit them with poison, you do all kinds of things like that, then, um, you know, then they can't take off again or it's a lot harder for them to fly. 
I'm not sure. I was Greenskins against, I think it was Empire. And uh, they tried to fly down and harass me like that. They tried to go down and knock out my wizard, and I just completely surrounded him. And I was able to kill their lord just like right off the bat because he couldn't take off again. So I think it can be done. You just have to absolutely dominate. He didn't dominate quite hard enough the ground game like he dominated, but not enough. Because at the end, he just had a few units left. And uh, he really let his lord get isolated. So anyways, thank you very much. That's going to be it for this video. I'm going to see if I can win one more and maybe how close am I to breaking under 500. That was kind of my goal for the night. Uh, that means I would have gained like, I don't even know, 400 ranks? 300 ranks? I don't know. A lot of ranks. I've been on fire today. Before, what trollery is this? All right. Well, I'll do one more. What time is it? I'm getting tired. Okay, I'll do one more. It's just like a 10 minute battle and this is just for it to see if I can get under 500 or not. All right, let's do it. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this. Check out the rest of the videos if you're interested. We have a ton of videos for basically every faction except for Chaos and Beastmen. I will do more of them in the future, but they're just really weak right now and I'm trying to get, um, you know, under 100 as fast as possible. So I do play a variety of different things, you know, but primarily, Right now it's going to be Tonia, Vampire Counts, Empire, and Greenskins, depending on the matchups. So, um, thank you very much. Check out the rest of the videos. Also check out the Legendary Campaigns. They're a ton of fun. We don't abuse auto-resolve. We get lots of great fights. Um, lots of good, interesting, complex campaigns. So, a lot of people are enjoying those. So, join the crowd. Come check them out. They're a lot of fun. Um, and that's going to be it. So, as always, I really appreciate your viewership. It's a pleasure broadcasting for you. And have a wonderful evening. I'll see you next time.